Hi guys and welcome to the next video of this entire series. In this particular video, I will be showing you how we can manage mailbox protocols using PowerShell commands. I will be showing you how you can manage all type of protocols. For example, MAPI, EWS, OWA, IMAP and POP protocols. Now let's understand how we can manage protocols for a particular mailbox. If you want to check the protocol's status, whether the protocols are enabled or disabled, for that you can run get hyphen cache mailbox hyphen identity. Identity will be the user display name or the email address. And here you will type pipe fl and we will look for protocols. For example, MAPI, MAPI enabled, OWA, IMAP, POP, and EWS. Press enter. So here we can see these all attributes are, these parameters are set to true. That means all these protocols are enabled for the user. MAPI protocol is for Outlook client. If MAPI protocol is disabled, then that particular user will not be able to configure his profile with an Outlook client. If OWA protocol is disabled, then that user will not be able to access OWA. If IMAP or POP are disabled, then the particular user will not be able to configure his profile using IMAP or POP server settings. If EWS protocol is disabled for a particular user, then that user will not be able to use the Exchange Online features. If you want to modify the attribute, if you want to disable or enable the protocol, for that command is set hyphen cache mailbox hyphen identity. And then you will mention the switch or the protocol name that you want to disable. For example, if you want to disable IMAP or POP protocol, for that you will use IMAP enabled and you will mention the value $false. So $false will disable IMAP protocol for this particular user. In the same way, if you want to disable POP protocol, then you will use switch POP enabled $false. So this way we can disable IMAP and POP protocols for this particular user. Press enter. And now let's verify the changes. Run the previous command, get hyphen cache mailbox, and press enter. So here we can see IMAP and POP both are disabled. There is one more protocol that can be managed from the same command, which is SMTP client authentication disabled. This protocol is used for the SMTP relay. If you are using SMTP relay and you are using a particular email address to send emails from that application, then you need to make sure that SMTP client authentication protocol is enabled. If you want to check that protocol, you can run the same command, this one, and here you can add one more attribute, which is SMTP client authentication disabled. This is the name of that attribute. Now here you can see there is no value set for this particular attribute. So that means this attribute is set to true. If you want to disable this, then you need to change this value to true. So for example, set hyphen cache mailbox, hyphen identity, SMTP client authentication disabled, and make it true. So here we have disabled SMTP client authentication protocol for this particular user. Now, whenever you are working on any cases, you are working for clients, always check the protocols if all the protocols are enabled for the user or not. If user is not able to use Outlook, he is not able to configure his profile in Outlook. You have tried everything, all the possible troubleshooting, but still it is not working. In that case, always check if MAPI protocol is enabled for that particular user or not. If you want to check the protocol status for all of the users in your organization, for that, the command will be get hyphen mailbox, 
hyphen result size unlimited pipe get hyphen cache mailbox pipe select hyphen object mappy enabled ews enabled owa enabled imap pop and smtp client authentication disabled and press enter so this command will list all of the protocols for all the users if you want you can add one more attribute display name so that you can check for which user you have that particular output so here let's add display name and press enter so here you can see the name of the user this is the default mailbox so this is the user mailbox global admin you can see the protocol status as well this is for room mailbox you can see the protocol status so like this you can check protocol status for all the mailboxes in your organization so if you have learned something new from this particular video please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel and please share this channel within your community thank you guys thank you for your time take care